In this video, we will see about different types of electrical braking system. What is the need for braking in drives? First thing to limit the speed of the drive within safe limit. For example, take a hoist which is carrying a heavy load from top to bottom. In such cases, due to gravitational force, the load may reach the ground level at a very high speed. To avoid any accident, you have to limit the speed within safe limit. In some applications like lift, it is necessary to stop exactly at the floor level. And in case of emergency, we have to stop the drive. And in some applications, we may need to reverse the direction of the drive. So, in such cases, you need braking. For all these cases, you have to somehow develop the braking tar either electrically or mechanically. There are two types of braking that is mechanical braking and electrical braking. In mechanical braking, the friction between the rotating parts and the brake drum provide the braking. Actually, there are some drawbacks with mechanical braking. So, normally electrical braking is preferred in electrical drives and in most applications both an electrical braking and mechanical braking system will be provided because electrical braking alone may not be sufficient at all conditions. So, when the motor rotates the electrical energy is converted or it is stored in the rotating parts as kinetic energy. So, when we apply the electric brake, the kinetic energy of the rotating parts is converted to electrical energy and this energy, electrical energy is dissipated either in the resistance, so it becomes a uh, heat or you can return this electrical energy to the supply. So, there are two options, either you can dissipate as heat or you can return back it to the supply. So, this is done by changing the electrical connections of the motor. So, there are three types of electric braking. You take an electric train. Here, the stored kinetic energy is sent back to the supply. So, this type of braking is called regenerative braking. That is, you are returning some of the energy back to the supply. And if you are dissipating the energy as heat in the resistance, we call it as a dynamic braking or rheostatic braking. So, here the kinetic energy is converted to electrical energy and is dissipated as heat in the resistance. So, this is called dynamic braking or rheostatic braking. Next is called plugging. In this also, all the power is wasted, but this type of um, braking system is required to stop the um, stop under emergency condition. So, plugging will be used for such purpose. Let us see what is regenerative braking. So, in regenerative braking, the motor is operated as a generator and the kinetic energy is converted into electrical energy and that electrical energy is returned to the supply source. So, we have seen that regenerative braking, um, the power is fed back to the supply, but what is the necessary condition for regenerative braking? The supply should be able to receive the energy from the load. So, for that the back EMF should be greater than Vs so that the current will reverse and the motor will act as a generator and give the supply back to the source. So, in regenerative braking, reconnection of motor is not necessary. If you make the motor to act as a generator, regenerative braking can take place and the machine can be braked to zero speed. So, this is an example for regenerative 
braking in electric cars you can see here the vehicle's kinetic energy that is um, from the wheels is uh, going to the motor shaft which acts as a generator now so generator will give you electrical output which will be stored in the battery under normal condition this battery will supply the motor and the motor delivers the energy to the wheels next is dynamic or rheostatic braking so this is a motor which is fed from a dc supply and this is the field winding with a dc supply so what is dynamic or rheostatic braking means this supply is removed and it is connected across a resistor this is called a braking resistor that is why it is called a rheostatic braking so now in this condition it is acting as a motor we are giving electrical energy so it acts as a motor now we have removed the supply so this motor will now act as a generator and uh, all the energy will be wasted in the resistance as heat so now this motor works as a generator and produces the braking torque so we have seen that dynamic braking is an inefficient method because all the energy is wasted in the resistant but still we go for dynamic braking why because in large motors with um, high inertia braking may take a long time so it may be um, necessary to stop the motor immediately means you can go for dynamic braking or a combination of braking methods helps to stop the motor quickly so this is uh, used in some applications like conveyor belt pumps and trolley buses next one is plugging so here the armature normally will be connected to a1 will be connected to positive voltage and a2 will be connected to negative of the voltage so in plugging what we are doing under running condition we are changing the connections of the motor that is a1 and a2 terminals are interchanged that is a1 is connected to negative and a2 is connected to positive so in such cases what happens the supply voltage and the back emf will be in the same direction or they act together so because of that a large negative current will be produced which will produce the braking torque and stop the motor but the problem with this method is that once it comes to rest you have to remove the supply otherwise it will again rotate in the opposite direction here also all the power is wasted because we are not utilizing any power here so this is also an inefficient method but still this is used in some application because where you want to stop immediately that is for emergency stop purpose plugging can be used so the best example is elevator you can see here the level this lift cannot go and stop somewhere here it cannot take more time it has to stop at the same point so in such cases you can use plugging now let us see the difference between mechanical brake and an electrical braking system mechanical braking system requires frequent maintenance whereas this requires very little maintenance because brake shoes and brake drums are not in electrical braking system so they can give you a dust free operation and in mechanical brake the energy is wasted as heat whereas in electrical uh, braking system regeneration is possible mechanical brakes may not give you a smooth operation whereas uh, smooth operation is possible with the electrical brake mechanical brakes are very good at holding the system at any position but electrical brakes they don't have any holding torque so normally electrical brakes will be used along with the mechanical brake 
and electrical braking system requires electrical energy. So the points to remember here are electrical braking system are of three types regenerative braking, dynamic braking and plugging. In regenerative braking the electrical energy is returned to the supply. In dynamic braking it is dissipated in the resistance. In plugging the armature connections are reversed to produce the braking tuck. And the advantages of electrical braking are they have very little maintenance, they give you dust free operation, regeneration is possible and smooth operation whereas the disadvantages are they do not have any holding torque and it requires electrical energy for its operation. So if you like the material do subscribe to read electric vehicle channel. Thank you.